Hi everyone, it's Jo from Funky Faces. It's lovely to see you all. Um, Jane and I are delighted to be part of Worcester Festival this year. Uh, we won't actually be painting in Crown Gate for you this year, but we hope you're going to enjoy our little bit of home painting. So today um, I'm just going to do a little bit of arm painting and I'm going to do some flowers here and a little spider so if you want to have a little go at home um, you can have a go. Okay so um, you've seen one strokes and things that we've probably used on all yourselves and your children before so I'm going to pick this nice multicoloured. You don't have to have a base for flowers, absolutely not necessary. Um, so I've got a nice big thick flat brush. You can pick these up from any art shop really, um, doesn't need to be a specialised supplier. So and what we do is, oops, is we um, just load that up, just go backwards and forwards just to load up the brush like so just a just to load up and then just dab it on a just to make sure it's not too wet because if it's too wet it will run and then just gonna do any sort of little swirly background there just like so and then we need to let that dry off this is where we like have a little chit chat with you all and all you lovely mums. So while that's drying, I'm going to do a little red paint base. So any sort of red paint, you just use a little paradise one here. Important not to get it too wet really, because again, it needs to dry off. So with a sponge, just dab that on just like so. I mean, this is quite sort of um, just keeping it nice and simple, and basic. So, so just a little red back. And again, you can do the flowers or the spider and the web without any background at all if you don't have any paints, lots of paints at home. Pop that one there. So hopefully that one's now dried, which I think it has. So we our next paint, and I'm going to use a petal brush for this. As you see, it's got a nice pointed petal shape for flowers, which everyone says when we do these, they say, oh, how did you do that? It looks so cool. So it's just really the right shape brush. So again, you don't want the paint too wet and you've got to give it really good, load it up really, really well. So take your time make the paint all nice and creamy. So I, I always use white because if you use other colours it doesn't really pop as much so I always use white and then I tip it and people say oh I want pink flowers, I want blue flowers and then I always tip it with the colour that you want to tip it with. So for example that's obviously just white and then you can tip it in any sort of paint but again you need to make sure it's not too wet. Oh actually that's tiny bit wet there so I'm gonna just tip that tiny so you can see you've got a tiny bit of white paint a bit of red which of course makes pink so got that there and then you can just place the petals hopefully you can see that so these are really and, and what you do is you put the tip down first and then lift tip and then lift so and sometimes I fill them in you don't have to but just to make them a little bit fuller and if you want to you could just make them like that like that again just or just load it up from the same seat. So there you go. So you've got your little basic flower there. And then what we would do is, I've got a really fine brush here, but um, you could use, I mean, this is a zero. This one here's two, zero, one, two. Anything from an art shop is fine. And uh, 
and then you need to do the centre. So again, nice high angle. I think a lot of people make the mistake that they do it too flat, like here, like, a, like they're writing. So you have to do it at a really high angle here. And you just literally dot, 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 like so. And if you're feeling a bit more confident, although this is a little bit harder, you can do a little, a few little swirls like this. Um, a little swirl here. The little starburst that we do, again, really, really high angle. So we just do tiny little starbursts here. Teeny, teeny in any sort of space that you find. And again, you can sort of go over these, make them, make the swirls a little bit bigger. And you can also put some extra, I like the little extra dots here, there and every which. And then if you want, you can put your name on here or sometimes put the child's name on and just write nice italic writing and they, they, they love that, so. Um, you can also do hearts really easily. So again, it, had, it doesn't really matter what size sort of brush you use for that, but you could lay those down like that. And that's how you make a little heart. So you can put those on. Obviously you could do them in different color if you wanted to, so a little heart. So that would be a nice simple flower. So moving on to the spider, I'm gonna use a slightly, this is the number two brush, but you can do one. Um, whatever, you know, zero, one, two, three. And this is how I do a spider. So we have to load up with some black paint. Again, just sort of make it nice and creamy, not too runny. Because if the paint runs when you've got a base on, it's a bit tricky to fix really. So there we go. So there you are. So I've loaded up that there. And how I do a spider is I do a little head like that, body, and then I do the body first, like that. So that's basically like what a spider body would look like. There's lots of different types of spiders you can do. This is a very simple one I do. And then I just um, lay on the legs like this. So again, it's almost a bit like what you did with the teardrop, with the flower, but because this brush, brush is slightly more rounded, you get a different shape. So obviously we have eight legs for a spider. And I always make the back legs a little bit longer, like that. And then just get the very tip and just, oh, need a bit more paint there and give them tiny bit, almost like tiny little legs there. That way. And also you can put a couple of little tiny things, and what they're called antennae, out the top. So there you have a spider. And, and obviously I like to do, the webs are always uh, nice. And again, you could put an add a name to that. So. And now I tend to do the webs. I tend to sort of drag it in like that. And then we can join the web up in a minute. So it's drop and lift like that. And then we just join it up. And then join up that side. Now, if you wanted to, you could uh, put a few more black dots on or outline a little bit in white again nice high angle to make the dots with a round brush and as we've still got white on that brush you could just just highlight a little bit here uh, on the legs a tiny bit like so just highlight a little bit underneath there we go and then um, you could just put their name, I'll just put mine on here, Joe, or whatever. And we could even fit a little, a couple of little starbursts on there as well, like so. And there we are. One very simple little spider, some flowers you could have a go at. There we go.